Facebook question. Uh, this from Joey, who uh, uh, says, does Calvinism do damage to God's character? And then a related question, Amin. I don't know how this works, but the two questions are put together. Uh, this is saying, hello from the Dominican Republic, where where does faith come from? Is it something that it, we can all perform or just the elect? It's kind of an interesting question because in Calvinism, uh, there is uh, solo uh, or sola regeneration, which is to say that regeneration precedes faith. So in this idea, you cannot exercise faith alone until you have been regenerated. In fact, if you have not been regenerated, you cannot exercise uh, faith at all. Uh, so first, uh, you have this idea of regeneration, which precedes faith. <coughs> regeneration <coughs> excuse me, can be explained in multiple ways. We can explain it as sort of a rewiring. If you think of all the people in the world, uh, those who are regenerated are the elect. And then not only can they respond to the wooing of the Holy Spirit, but they must respond to the wooing of the Holy Spirit. However, it is said that if you're a non-elect, then you cannot respond to the wooing of the Holy Spirit. And that's why Calvin was very, very clear that there are people who are born doomed from the womb to certain destruction. Now, uh, again, I, I, I do not believe this a particular construct. Uh, what, what I think is important for us to realize is that everyone can respond uh, to the wooing of the Holy Spirit. We can respond to the wooing of the Spirit or we can reject the wooing of the Spirit. And so we stand ultimately culpable uh, for either wanting to be part of the Prince of Darkness or wanting to be part of the Prince of Life. Uh, which is to say, part of the body of Christ. Every single person has the light of creation. God has written a knowledge of himself on the tablet of each person's heart. And if we respond to the light that we have been given, we can also respond to the wooing of the Holy Spirit and thus receive Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord. Paul makes this very clear when he says, from one man, God created every nation of men that they should inhabit the whole earth. He determined the exact times and places that they should live, and he did this so that men might reach out for him and find him. Though he's not far from each one of us.